Hi, welcome to the Forward Thinking TV show. I'm Michelle Perkins, I'm your host, and I'm so happy you're here today. Today we're going to talk about your personal power. And this goes along with the previous episode where we talked about connecting with your true authentic self and finding out your truth so that you can connect with your true self and just really tap into that inner strength that's within you. Because when you do that, you can drastically change your life. When you are able to use that personal power, you become unstoppable. So I had given you some ways to do that. And now I want to dig a little bit deeper. So you've gone through the exercise, you're beginning to have a good understanding of who you are. Now what? Well, that's what I'm here to share with you today. So let's talk about, okay, what's the next step? We know who you are, we know your value, we know your truths, now what? Well, I wanna give you three quick, easy steps that if you do these are going to blow your mind because you're going to realize, wow, this is amazing. The confidence that you will get after doing even one of these steps is through the roof. I know that when I did um, a couple of these that I shared with you, you know, it was hard to contain my excitement and I'm like, oh my gosh, and my confidence soared. And so that is why I want to share these with you. And like I said, if you even do just one of them, you will see a difference. So how can you really start using this inner strength that you have found? Well, first of all, number one, the power of saying no. Now, if you're one of those people like myself, that can never say no. You, you actually at times will say yes before they even get the question completely out. It's okay to say no. It's okay for you not to feel guilty to say no. You do not have to please everyone. You do not have to do everything for everyone. So the next time you're asked to do something whether it's something with a friend or at work, someone asking you to work on a project or help them with a presentation, whatever it may be, and you just don't want to do it or you don't have the time to do it, the bandwidth to do it. Just simply say, I'm sorry, I, I can't help you with that right now. I'm sorry, I'm unavailable. You don't have to be rude. You can just say no very politely. And you know what? People are going to respect you for being honest rather than you saying yes and not doing a good job or you saying yes and just having a bad attitude about it. It's okay to say no. And when you say no the first time, and for some of you, it will be hard to say no. You'll be like, oh, I feel like I should say yes, but I really want to say no. Say it. Because when you do, you are going to feel like a burden has been lifted off your shoulders. Number two, stand up. And what I mean by that is it is time for you to be seen. Most people that, most women, I should say, that um, have kind of lost themselves and don't know who they are, usually try to blend, try to not be seen, you know, just kind of hide behind everyone else. Well, now it is time for you to be seen. No more hiding, no more hiding. So from now on, if you're in a room of people, you stand up, you go to the front, you let people know that you are there. 
And if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. You're afraid to do that. You're afraid to mingle. Whatever the case may be, do it. Just take that step, that first step, and do it. Because you will be so happy that you did. When you stand up and get noticed, and people realize who you are, the great, amazing person that you are, it feels good. And you won't want to hide anymore. And lastly, speak up. Speak up. When you have that lack of confidence, the low self-esteem, you know, when you just kind of lost yourself, you don't tend to speak up for yourself. You just do what everyone else tells you to do. You kind of become the person everyone else wants you to be. And you don't stand up for yourself, even if you know something goes against your values, your beliefs, you do it anyhow because you don't want to upset someone or you don't want to hurt their feelings. But it's time to speak up. You know, I want to give you an example from when I was in the corporate world. Because as many of you know, I do work with um, women who are in leadership roles that, like myself, used to hide go into meetings and I would hide and I'd be the one slouched down in my chair. Nobody talked to me, nobody looked at me and I would never speak up. And once I worked through all of this, one day I decided enough was enough. And I stood up and I shared my ideas and I was scared. But I did it. And after I did it, I felt so confident. So confident. Now, I will tell you that when you start speaking up for yourself, there are going to be some people that are going to give you a hard time. There are going to be some people that will ignore you, that will try to talk over you. Don't let them. You stand firm. You know, that same meeting that I was just telling you about, um, that was the first meeting I had stood up and really shared my ideas. And I can remember these two men, there was three women out of 28 of us in there. And of course, the women always sat at the back of the boardroom. And I was up there standing up, giving my ideas. And these two men just started talking, totally ignoring me. So I stopped in mid-sentence and I waited and I waited. And everyone's looking at me like, what is she doing? And finally I said, excuse me, would you please um, save your conversation until after my presentation? And do you know from that moment, I not only increased my confidence incredibly, but I also gained a lot of respect from all these other people in the room who used to just ignore me because I would hide. They respected me because they realized that I had a voice. Because I stood up, I was seen, and I was heard. And that's why I say it is so important that you speak up you stand up and speak up. And I want to share with you, it's important if you are in a room of people to stand up because you want to be seen. You want to be seen. And there's something about standing up when you're talking that automatically increases your confidence. So whenever you're speaking, stand up. Straighten your back up. That immediately, your posture will immediately give you confidence. So those are the three tips that help me in a short period of time really tap into that personal power. It really boosts my self-confidence, my self-esteem, and um, you know, it got me on my way to being a powerhouse. 
So, and I believe each and every one of us are all our own powerhouse. And I believe we are all amazing women and we all deserve to have our voice heard. So I hope these tips were helpful. If you want to discuss this further, please reach out to me. I would love to just chat with you. And thank you for your time. And as always, remember your decisions today will determine your tomorrow. Thank you.